Hello, I'm Dr. Ron Eaglin, and we're going to talk about the merge sort and an implementation in JavaScript. So let's uh, look at first, um, I'm working from the pseudocode for the merge sort that I found on Wikipedia. Um, if you're trying to do specific sort algorithms, it's uh, the, you know working from a set of pseudocode is one of those great skills to be able to have. And the first thing I want to do is make sure that if you're going to do um, a merge sort, you have to have a, a list with uh, working um, push, pop, and DQ. So here is, a, I'm going to just demonstrate this. I've got uh, this, this is the node that's going to be added here in the text box. I can add these nodes. I have auto increment, um, I'm auto incrementing in my code. And so there's three nodes. Let's make a fourth node. If I pop a node, I should see the one come off the end. So four gets popped and it's off the end. So the list has now has three. If I add another node there and let's say I DQ, the node one should come off the front leaving those other three nodes. So that's exactly what I expect to happen. And um, so now let's also, uh, let's go back to run, and I'm going to move this back over so we can look at the code here. And let's look at the structure of my linked list. And remember, most of a linked list is really the nodes. So the nodes within the linked list have, it's a doubly linked list because it has next and previous pointers. And then obviously the content, whatever I'm going to put into the node, the text that I put into the node, is the content. The linked list itself keeps pointers to the nodes. A linked list really only needs to have a pointer to the head node of the linked list, but in this case I actually have head and a tail, and I also keep track of the length. And the reason I do that is really the length is really just for me to print stuff out. So I've implemented, um, through prototype functions, I've implemented an add. Okay, I've implemented the push, which is just, by the way, the add. I've implemented a pop function that pops from the node and returns the node that's being popped. And I've also implemented a DQ. Um, you should be familiar with push, pop, DQ, and NQ from understanding of both stacks and, um, and queues. So these are just the basic fundamental pieces. And you kind of, you need them to be able to do the merge sort. So now let's go back over to the code. We'll make this a little bit bigger here. I'm going to get, click Run again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a random list. Okay, so now I've got a list, and I do numbers here. It's just easier to see the sorting when you do that. If I click Merge Sort, I have a printing operation that I do here so that you can see what's being output. And you can see the final linked list, hopefully a nicely sorted linked list that's output. Well. This shows each of the individual steps, but what we really would like to see in code is what's going on when you do a merge sort. So merge sort takes, actually has two functions that, that go on here. The first function I'm going to call the merge sort function, and I pass it the list that I want sorted. And what this function does is it finds the midpoint of the list itself, which is essentially the length of the list divided by two, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that list and I'm going to create two new lists from it called left and right. So I'm going to go through the list, which essentially I start at the head. So then I start at the head here and I go through the list by using a while loop. And I am going to add it to the left list, that, that node to the left list. If it's less than the mid, I'm going to add it to the right list if it's greater than the midpoint. And I simply then do node equals node dot next, which is a way to easily parse through the contents of a list. So now I've got two lists that are created from the original list, which, which essentially should be split down the middle, and I have a left and a right. Now, now I'm, this is just a printout of what's actually going on. And next, I'm going to actually recursively call left equals merge sort of left. Okay, so I'm going to make a new left list by running the same function, which is, by the way, going to split the list up. And I'm going to have a new left and a new right that I'm going to create from doing this, recalling this, or basically doing a recursive call of the same function. Now, if you think intuitively, what it just should do is it should just keep splitting the lift up, list up into separate lefts and rights. And because of the scoping rules, the left that's passed over from the previous one should be different from the last one because you're splitting it up and it's and you're passing the new one over. 
Once I get down through and I've actually done the recursive left and the recursive right, once it gets through and done the recursive right, I'm going to actually go and I'm going to merge the left and the right lists together. And there should only be one element in left and one element in right when it gets merged. So let's look at that function merge. I now have a left list and a right list. And what I'm going to do here is I'm simply going to, while there's elements in left and right, I'm going to compare the content of the two. And if the content of left is less than the value of the content of right, I'm going to DQ the left and push it to the result. If the right is great is um, going to be less than, I'm going to DQ the contents of the right and I'm going to push it to the result. That's pretty much it. That's that's the whole thing. And I have these two other functions here to make sure that there's any content left over, it does get pushed back over. All right, so let's now that you've seen the operation, let's do another run, create a list, and merge sort it and see if that makes sense. The original list being passed in is this list right here. So after it gets done splitting the list up into a left and a right, Here's your left list, here's your right list, and these five elements are now split left and right. And notice it splits it right down the right kind of down the middle. These two elements go over to the left, these three elements go over to the right. Well, what should happen is, since there's two elements here, that should then be recursively called back to the merge sort function, which is going to break it down into and break it down one more. And when it breaks it down to a new left and a new, a new right, okay, from these two elements that were passed over, I can now merge them back together. So I'm going to merge these, this left and this right, and they should come up merge sorted. I don't have a printout for that. And now I should be able to take, go back, should go off the stack of the function calls, and I should be coming over to this list, and now passing it over, which now breaks it down into a left and a right. And if you notice, this right has two of them right here, which now should be passed over to a left and a right. And now I should merge the first set back over, the second set back over should be merged, and then back to the top of the stack, which is the final set which gets merged over, and the final sorted list should come out this way. So if you look at what's actually going on in the merge sort, this really should not seem to be that challenging. I essentially split it down the middle and make a left and a right. Okay, If there's more than one element, I do it over and over again. I chop it, chop it, chop it into halves. And when I get down to <coughs> small halves, I start merging them back together. This is a great example of both recursion in recursions used in sorting. Okay, it's also a great example of how the functions of push, pop, in, well, inqe, which we don't use, and dq, uh, dq is essentially exactly the same as push, okay, can be used to create a very efficient sorting algorithm. So hopefully this demystifies the entire concept of a merge sort. Um, thank you very much and good programming. By the way, this implementation was for advanced JavaScript for data structures and we hope that, that you got a lot out of looking at how this algorithm works and how the merge sort works. Thank you very much. Good programming. Get out there and get it done.